This was my first round of 2019 in Thailand. In 2019, I'm focusing hard on making golf fun again for everyone, and this round will henceforth be known as the beginning. It's the first round of establishing the way of the player. I'll be expanding and expounding on the principles of stress-free golf over the coming months to evaluate your game, not only in terms of scoring, but more importantly, having tons of fun. But players, remember, golf is a journey. There is no end point. You may be aiming to break 80, but what happens then? You might want to be a single-figure handicap this year. And then what? Even the best in the world will never be as good as they want to be. There is no end point of happiness. So this year, let's focus on making better decisions more of the time. Let's strive for perfect decision making and emotional control. We'll never achieve outcome-based perfection. The bounce of the ball is out of our control. This is a surefire way to lose your mind, especially when it comes to golf. What is in our control is the process. Let's become the golfing daddies we were meant to be. The golf course is there to be worked out and taken apart not to spank you like a red-headed stepchild. Ego golf is over. Low percentage golf is history. Chipping and putting is in. Score-destroying clubs are out. 2019 is the year you become the player you were meant to be. Golf is easy and golf is fun. Stress-free golf dictates we attack pins that suit our stress-free shot shape. We play towards safety when the pins are in awkward places. I hit a natural draw with my short clubs. I see this flag in the back left and it screams, it's go time. Good start, but players. The next hole needs your attention. That birdie means nothing. How do I set up my second shot on this hole? What target is nice and comfortable to aim at? These thoughts get your mind away from the result of the previous hole. Be present and be mindful. Right is a no-go here, so I don't even mind if I'm in the fairway of the previous hole. The driver is not high stress here because the hole is very wide open. Ah! Players, when you have a long approach, it's often better to use a hybrid or fairway wood instead of a long iron. The iron sharp edge will get tangled in the long grass, while the hybrid or wood glides through the grass much easier. This two iron works from everywhere. The ball is sitting way down in the rough. I could hit a splash shot like a bunker, but that's high stress because I have no idea how it will come out. I hit what I know and focus on the mantra, get it on the green. I can always make a putt. I was looking for a draw, but it went into the bunker. For me, this is no stress, because I like fairway bunkers. But generally, players, you should aim away from the beaches. A straight shot is always possible, so guard against it. What a player! Come in!
Find yourself a go-to club. Find clubs you love, and I really mean that. If you look down at the club and actually dislike it, replace it. Looking down at a club and loving the look of it at a dress is 75% of the battle won. I've never loved these Mizuno irons, and I've had them 10 years. I do love the Shrixen Z585 irons, which I will upgrade to this year. Here's the first high stress shot. I hit a big slice here to try find the narrow fairway. This was a silly shot because the water is reachable, but the fairway in front of it is very wide. The low stress shot I know from experience is a four iron short of the water. It will leave me a six iron to the green. Forget the last two shuries. I want to get this left of the pin because I know the green slopes right to left. I want an uphill putt for par. This is a huge mindset shit I've, shit I've made. This is a huge mindset shift I've made. Before, this was an automatic bogey or double bogey. Depression and double bogey or self-belief and scramble. Which do you choose?
This was a mistake. The green slopes steeply back to front. If I leave this ball on the front edge, I have an easy peasy chip. Instead, I went at the front pin, which is not my stress-free shot. Now, I have a slippery chip onto the upslope, then straight downhill, down grain. This is the type of high stress chip that gives you the yips. Anywhere near the front of the green would have been great. Going long here is really oh, silly. What the f what the f Must be baby. No. 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 Oh, no. Oh. Oh, man. This is a perfect pin for me. Just aim it up the middle and let it draw against the wind. My brain switched off for a second and this further highlights my tendency to screw up between hole 12 and 15. No, 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 please stop. Stay short. Ask me what the lowest stress shot was in the moment, and I would have said two iron again. But it's the 14th hole, so cue brain fart. <laughs> Nothing we can do about the previous holes. Let's focus on setting up the approach shots on this hole. I'd like one wedge into the green, please. Back left pin with my 50 degree in hand. It's go time. Peter took the best path by being right of the pin here. If you know the slope of the greens at your course, try and leave yourself uphill putts and chips. It will make a huge difference in your score. front of the ball. Quick. Lucky this is a waste bunker. Okay, come on baby. Hey. There are some big lessons to learn from this round. 1. Removing the opportunity to short side yourself is essential. Avoid the downhill chips. 2. Attack flags that suit your stress free shot shape. 
Three, listen to the voice inside saying no. Four, a go-to club off the tee makes golf really fun. Five, planning approach shots to leave uphill putts will improve scoring. Six, calories around the 12th hole should help my brain stop farting. <laughs>